Hundreds of people gathered today for a rally on the campus of Pomona College, the group calling for the school to divest its funds from Israel. Our Inland Empire Bureau Chief Ron McMillan is live at Claremont with the impact it's having on the campus. Rob? Well, that group of protesters has essentially taken over Carnegie Hall here on the campus of Pomona College. That group marching in around 11 o'clock this morning. A small handful of them remain inside. The college has put out a statement saying that the hall is now closed and anyone still inside is trespassing, although the group has indicated they plan to leave around 4 o'clock this afternoon. So far, there have been no report of any arrests. However, there has been a lot of disruption. What started out as a small group of protesters marching through the Claremont colleges soon became a group of several hundred. These pro-Palestinian protesters blocking the entire intersection at North College Avenue and East 6th Street in front of Pomona College. This marks one year of intensified genocide in Gaza following Israeli attacks. This protester did not want to give us his name, but did say he was a student at one of the Claremont colleges. Over 85% of students voted in favor of divestment. The college, one year out, has still not followed up with any meaningful plan. I'm here to support Gen Z, who is sick and tired of genocide, and they don't want to fund it anymore. Surrounding the protesters, quite a few people disgusted with what they're seeing. This is a day that's supposed to be about remembering Jewish life, and they're actively celebrating that attack. At one point, the protesters stormed Carnegie Hall and blocked many of the doors. Some students telling us the only way they could leave the building was to climb out of a window. What they're doing is they're asking for divestment, and that does nothing. If they really care about Israel, they should stop funding the U.S. government, which means they should stop paying their taxes, they should stop going to a school that pays taxes, they should stop taking services from people who pay taxes, and then they'd actually be doing something. But what they're doing right now is just creating a disruption that does nothing to actually help any Palestinians. And Pomona College putting out a statement this afternoon reading in part, quote, we will not permit the presence of masked unidentified individuals on our campus refusing to show identification when asked, nor will we stand for the takeover of buildings and the disruption of academic continuity, all of which happened today. Anyone involved in this disruption is subject to disciplinary action. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.